Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that encompasses a star and captures a large percentage of its solar power output. The concept is a thought experiment that attempts to imagine how a spacefaring civilization would meet its energy requirements once those requirements exceed what can be generated from the home planet's resources alone. Because only a tiny fraction of a star's energy emissions reaches the surface of any orbiting planet, Building structures encircling a star would enable a civilization to harvest far more energy. The first modern imagining of such a structure was by Olaf Stapledon in his science fiction novel Star Maker, 1937. The concept was later explored by the physicist Freeman Dyson in his 1960 paper, Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation. Dyson speculated that such structures would be the logical consequence of the escalating energy needs of a technological civilization and would be a necessity for its long-term survival. A signature of such spheres detected in astronomical searches would be an indicator of extraterrestrial intelligence. Since Dyson's paper, many variant designs involving an artificial structure or series of structures to encompass a star have been proposed in exploratory engineering or described in science fiction, often under the name Dyson Sphere. Fictional depictions often describe a solid shell of matter enclosing a star, an arrangement considered by Dyson himself to be impossible. Origins Inspired by the 1937 science fiction novel Star Maker by Olaf Stapledon, the physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson was the first to formalize the concept of what became known as the Dyson Sphere, in his 1960 science paper, Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation. Dyson theorized that as the energy requirements of an advanced technological civilization increased, there would come a time when it would need to systematically harvest the energy from its local star on a large scale. He speculated that this could be done via a system of structures orbiting the star, designed to intercept and collect its energy. He argued that as the structure would result in the large-scale conversion of starlight into far-infrared radiation, an Earth-based search for sources of infrared radiation could identify stars supporting intelligent life. Dyson did not detail how such a system could be constructed, simply referring to it in the paper as a shell, or biosphere. He later clarified that he did not have in mind a solid structure, saying, a solid shell or ring surrounding a star is mechanically impossible. The form of biosphere which I envisaged consists of a loose collection or swarm of objects traveling on independent orbits around the star. Such a concept has often been referred to as a Dyson swarm. However, in 2013, Dyson said that he had come to regret that the concept had been named after him. Search for megastructures Dyson-style energy collectors around a distant star would absorb and re-radiate energy from the star. The wavelengths of such re-radiated energy may be atypical for the star's spectral type due to the presence of heavy elements not naturally occurring within the star. If the percentage of such atypical wavelengths were to be significant, an alien megastructure could be detected at interstellar distances. This could indicate the presence of what has been called a Type II Kardashev civilization. SETI has looked for such infrared heavy spectra from solar analogs, as has Fermilab. Fermilab discovered 17 potential, ambiguous candidates, of which four were in 2006 called amusing but still questionable. Later searches also resulted in several candidates, all of which remain unconfirmed. On the 14th of October 2015, Planet Hunter's citizen scientists discovered unusual light fluctuations of the star KIC 8462852, raising press speculation that a Dyson sphere may have been discovered. However, subsequent analysis showed that the results were consistent with the presence of dust. A further campaign found evidence of seven possible candidates for Dyson spheres. However, further investigation is required. These candidates are feasibility and science-based speculation. Although Dyson Sphere systems are theoretically possible, building a stable megastructure around the Sun is currently far beyond humanity's engineering capacity. The number of craft required to obtain, transmit, and maintain a complete Dyson Sphere exceeds present-day industrial capabilities. George Dvorsky has advocated the use of self-replicating robots to overcome this limitation in the relatively near term. 
Some have suggested that Dyson Sphere habitats could be built around white dwarfs and even pulsars. Stellar engines are hypothetical megastructures whose purpose is to extract useful energy from a star, sometimes for specific purposes. For example, matryoshka brains have been proposed to extract energy for computation, while Shkadov thrusters would extract energy for propulsion. Some proposed stellar engine designs are based on the Dyson Sphere. From May-June 2024, speculation grew that potential signs of interstellar Dyson spheres had been discovered. The seven objects of interest, all located within 1,000 light-years of Earth, are M-dwarfs, a class of stars that are smaller and less luminous than the Sun. However, the authors of the findings were careful not to make any overblown claims. Despite this, many media outlets picked up on the story. Less fantastical alternative explanations have been made, including a proposal that the discoveries were simply dust-obscured galaxies. In popular culture, a precursor to the concept of Dyson spheres was featured in the 1937 novel Star Maker by Olaf Stapledon, in which he described every solar system surrounded by a gauze of light traps, which focused the escaping solar energy for intelligent use. Dyson got his inspiration from this book and suggested that Stapledon Sphere would be a more apt name for the concept. Fictional Dyson Spheres are typically solid structures forming a continuous shell around the star in question, although Dyson himself considered that prospect to be mechanically implausible. They are sometimes used as the type of plot device known as a big dumb object. Dyson Spheres appear as a background element in many works of fiction, including the 1964 novel The Wanderer by Fritz Leiber, where aliens enclose multiple stars in this way. Dyson spheres are depicted in the 1975 to 1983 book series Saga of Cuckoo by Frederick Pohl and Jack Williamson, and one functions as the setting of Bob Shaw's 1975 novel Orbitsville and its sequels. In the 1992 episode Relics of the TV show Star Trek The Next Generation, the USS Enterprise finds itself trapped in an abandoned Dyson sphere. In a 2011 interview, Dyson said that he enjoyed the episode, although he considered the sphere depicted to be nonsense. Michael Jan Friedman, who wrote the novelization, observed that in the TV episode itself, the Dyson sphere was effectively a MacGuffin, with just nothing about it in the story, and decided to flesh out the plot element in his novelization, X. Other science fiction story examples include Tony Rothman's The World is Round, Samto Sutritkel's Inquisitor series, Timothy Zahn's Spinneret, James White's Federation World, Stephen Baxter's The Time Ships, and Peter F. Hamilton's Pandora's Star. 133 variations on the Dyson Sphere concept include a single circular band in Larry Neven's 1970 novel Ringworld, a half-sphere in the 2012 novel Bowl of Heaven by Gregory Benford and Neven, and nested spheres, also known as a matryoshka brain, in Colin Capp's 1980s Cage World series and Brian Stableford's 1979-1990 Asgard trilogy. Stableford himself observed that Dyson spheres are usually MacGuffins or largely deep in the backgrounds of stories, giving as examples Fritz Leiber's The Wanderer and Linda Nagata's Deception. Well, whereas stories involving space exploration tend to employ the variants like Neven's Ringworld 133, he gives two reasons for this. Firstly, that Dyson spheres are simply too big to address, which Friedman also alluded to when pointing out that the reason that his novelization of relics did not go further into the sphere was that it was only 400 pages and he had just shy of four weeks to write it. And secondly, that, especially for hard science fiction, Dyson spheres have certain engineering problems that complicate stories. 133. X in particular... Since gravitational attraction is in equilibrium inside such a sphere, per the Shell theorem, other means, such as rotating the sphere, have to be employed in order to keep things attached to the interior surface, which then leads to the problem of a gravity gradient that goes to zero at the rotational poles. 133. Authors address this with various modifications of the idea, such as the aforementioned cage world nesting, Dan Alderson's double sphere idea, and Nevin's Reduced Ringworld, discussed in Bigger Than Worlds, 133. See also Alderson Disc, Hypothetical Artificial Solar Megastructure. Kardashev Scale, Measure of a Civilization's Evolution. Matryoshka Brain, Huge Computer Powered by a Star's Energy. 
Stellar engineering, hypothetical artificial modification of stars. Tabby's star, star noted for unusual dimming events. List of hypothetical technologies. Technology that could exist in the future, references. Further reading, Gunn, Alistair, 2022-1229. Dyson Spheres, How Humans and Aliens Could Capture a Star's Energy. BBC Science Focus. Archived from the original on 2024-03-11. Retrieved 2024-03-20. Man, Adam, 2019-801. What is a Dyson Sphere? Space.com. Archived from the original on 2024-03-07. Retrieved 2024-03-20. Schultzemach, Dirk, 2014-0129. Dyson Spheres, Still Missing, Maybe Impossible, Smithsonian Magazine. Archived from the original on 2023-09-28. Retrieved 2024-03-20. Stableford, Brian, 2004. Dyson Sphere, Historical Dictionary of Science Fiction Literature. Scarecrow Press, P99. ISB.